All right, so we continue with 2021 Pilots, where I'll be reacting to every 21 Pilot song. Um, we continue with uh, Attic with the Pen. Attic with the Pen is one of my favorite songs ever from uh, Tyler, because I like to write a lot, and you don't usually get uh, songs about writers, you know? I know Lord did... Uh, Writer in the Dark, which is also one of my favorite ones because writers. And yeah, this song just holds a very special place in my in my tiny black heart. Anyways, let's get on with the video. Oh, ha, ha, I like the picture. Very above the waters. Water scare. Hi. Yeah, well, you never text me first. <laughs> Alright, so a lot of people would say this is about singing to your father, whereas I think it's singing to the godly father. Uh, he's just saying that he hasn't been communicating, praying with God, you know. Uh, this just means I, well, this, I'm just going to say what it means to me, which this means I've been traveling in the deserts of my mind, would refer to I've been thinking way too much, just wondering about the things that I get lost sometimes and I can't talk to you. Uh, water usually represents life. Uh, when I haven't found a drop of water, it just means I haven't found something that brings joy into my existence, you know. This is my favorite one because it's just so close to my personal life. It feels like it was written for me, you know. <laughs> Also, having found a drop of you just means that uh, in the Christian world, God is water, God is the living water, God is life. So, having found a drop of you just means having found a drop of uh, you. <laughs> like, the energy of God. I like how they put the water on top of I would have expected of a, a, a desert. Uh, you know? I like it though. I like the delivery of the lyrics is so like desperate also like desolate abandoned desperately to run through the sand as I hold the water in the palm of my hand it is all that I have in a job that I need it mean nothing to me and I try my best to all that I can to hold tightly on to what's left in my I'm getting how tightly I was strained, the sand was slowing down, and the water was drained. I don't get that part, like where is he going with that little bit of water that he has? You know, like I, I, I do picture him running, or me running through the desert with a little bit of water that we, like, but where are we going, Tyler? Where are we going? You know, like, where? Like, we found it. Where are we taking it? Yeah. As an addict with a pen, Alright, so this part, addict with the pen, usually when, when I would write and I would just let my pen, it feels like my pen would take on a life of its own and just write it, like, like, just write. And it would just write the most dumbest, weirdest, deepest, craziest things. And that's, and there was a point in my life where I would just write const constantly. And I did feel like I was an addict 
to the pen to writing it. So this song is like being addicted to writing. That's why I like it so much. Because when you're writing, you can be and do anything. It's just so like, like crazy. See you tomorrow, but it's the end of today. End of my ways as a walking denial inside those violence, a crazy suicide of that case. Also, yes. I may or may not have been a little suicidal when I was younger, but that, that, that's, it comes with the territory of being a writer. You hear me screaming, Father, and I'm lying here just crying, so watch me with your water. The whole specialized in dying thing, uh, usually, uh, it's hard to explain, but you know how God just wants us to die so that we can go with him. <laughs> And then wash me with your water is just, I think, a reference to getting baptized or the whole God be in the water that when he comes into you or something, you get washed from all your sins. It's really weird me talking about God and all this stuff if I'm, the, <laughs> I'm like the most sinner person out there. Oh yeah, this is just uh, my past. I'm not a Christian anymore, but I still listen to these songs. I think that's it for like Is it? Yeah, hello. Oh and then again. We haven't talked in quite some time. I know I haven't been the best of sons of lords and traveling in the desert of my mind and I haven't found your <laughs> This got me really depressed when I was younger like this song just hit differently for some reason like it was so close parallel to my life and who I was at that time that it creeped me out like really long outros on his album and intros also he has intros and outros and then there's a lot of space in between wow very very uh, very good I had to say he was a really talented writer only I could uh, imagine myself to be just as good as he was but uh, yeah <laughs> all right well that's it for this video thanks for watching i'll uh, see you on the next one stay alien and adios